Okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking about the best takeaway choices, when you go to make a takeaway choice, what you should choose, and how to make the best option, okay? So, let's say you're going out on a Friday or Saturday night and you're gonna go somewhere. It doesn't really matter where you're gonna go. The first thing you always, always, always wanna do, look up the menu, okay? You can do this ahead of time by jumping on Google and looking up the menu, or you can actually go into the restaurant and have a look. But when you do your research ahead of time, you're going to know what foods are on the menu, okay? So whether this be a pub, whether this be Japanese, whether this be Thai food, any place you go, you're now able to access that menu online. So many of them actually have the menu. And what you can actually do is, let's say you go online, let's say you're gonna to go to a Thai food restaurant. Go on and type a tong. So you type in Thai tong, and type in menu afterwards, right? So what's gonna come up, it's gonna say, oh, there's our menu, okay? So I'll jump on menu right now, and that way I can have a look at what they're actually serving. So that way, when you go there, if you make a decision beforehand for when you go there, you're not gonna let your emotions drive you, because you might go there and you might be extremely hungry, but if you've already decided what you're gonna have at a time, it's actually gonna save you that. So the first thing to always do is to do your research beforehand. It takes five minutes, you can literally search whatever you're gonna go to, uh, Japanese food, Wagaya, you're gonna look up Wagaya menu, okay? Doesn't matter, whatever it is, look up the menu. So after you've looked up the menu, have a look at what they've got, all right? So look and then go, okay, maybe this might be all right, maybe this might be all right. You always wanna make sure the base of your food is protein. This could be sashimi when you go to sushi. This could be a chicken beef or a beef stir fry when you go to Thai food. This would be if you're going to uh, Lebanese or Turkish, you've got your meat, right? If you're going to a pub, well then you're gonna get something with steak in it or with a chicken breast or something like that. You always wanna make sure you're looking for a protein serving size. It doesn't matter what cuisine you're going to, whether it be Italian, you know, you've got your um, meatballs, things like that, always look for the protein serving first. Protein is gonna be the base of your meal, okay? So, once you've decided, let's say we're looking at Thai food first. If you're looking at Thai food, do not choose a pad Thai, do not choose a coconut, do not choose any of the things with the heavy sauces. Stick to a stir fry, stick to a beef stir fry or a chicken stir fry. Things that are really, really simple and lean, okay? A chicken stir fry can still be a really good option. But if you're getting like a pad Thai or you're getting like a coconut curry or a jungle curry, you've got all the coconut cream in there, that's just a whole lot of fat and sugar in there. So avoid that, just keep it lean, all right? If you're gonna go to a pub, let's talk about a pub. Well, what would you choose? Would you choose a chicken schnitzel? Most likely not. You can choose the grilled chicken breast. You can choose a meat. Like whenever I go to a pub, I always look for a good size serving of steak, right? Steak is really filling. It's a good protein source and they're not gonna be able to deep fry it. Stay away from the deep food, deep fried food. Now let's talk about Japanese. Are you gonna go to Japanese? All right, so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna choose fish that's steamed, that's raw, because you've got sashimi, you've got, you can get your uh, grilled fish, and you get raw fish, okay? You do not want to go for the deep fried stuff again. And you guys know this stuff, like, yeah, it's okay to go out and dole sometimes, but if you're getting all these deep fried foods, you're not really going to give yourself any value. Now, I know some people like to go and get Indian, and this changes it up a little bit, because there's not always a meat option there. You might go to an Indian place that's vegetarian, okay? Now, when you go to a vegetarian Indian place, what you want to focus on is making sure that you're going to get something with vegetables in it as opposed to the potato because the potato can add up very, very quickly and all the curries. So what you want to do is if you've looked at the menu and you've decided about what you want or you've found a protein source and like let's say you look at Indian. So your protein source, if it's vegetarian, you want to look at things like legumes and beans and things like that, okay? They're going to be your protein sources and then you get it with a side of veggies. So let's say we found our protein source, okay? What do we do next? What if we don't know how it's cooked? Well, I'll tell you what you do, you ring them up, all right? You can either ring them up or you make a decision ahead of time. When you go to the restaurant, you're going to ask a lot of questions. You can be that guy in a restaurant or that person in the restaurant. Like you can be like, all right, so excuse me, how is this cooked? Or what can you, like, you know, what, like, it, just ask them, how's it cooked? Oh, I wanna get the, um, I wanna get the steak. How do you guys cook that? Oh, well, we use this and this. Or I wanna get the, uh, uh, like, you know, I want to get this stir fry. Do you guys use a lot of oil? Well, we use a little bit, but not too much. Or what's in the pad Thai? Asking the questions when you get there. But, like, who cares? You're paying them money, right? You want good stuff to go into your body, so make sure you ask the questions. The next thing you want to do is be a swapper, okay? Can I get an extra serving of veggies? 
can I swap my chips for a potato would be a good one. So if you still want carbohydrates, chips for boiled potato is one of the best things you can do, all right? If you don't really care about your carbohydrates, well then you wanna make sure that you're getting an extra serving of veggies. When it comes to sushi, go for sashimi instead and avoid the rice because rice is a whole lot of carbs, okay? Have your seaweed, um, have all the little sides they have, have all that other stuff, but avoid the rice because it adds up so quickly, especially when you get, you know if you get a piece of sashimi, uh, you get a piece of sushi, right? They probably put about this much protein in there in the middle and the rest of it's just full of carbohydrates and a lot of rice adds up very, very quickly. The same thing goes with Indian. When you have an Indian, stick to, like, you know, Indian's supposed to be shared, Thai food's supposed to be shared, so if everyone else is ordering rice, just have half a serving. You know, use your portion control, okay? That's gonna be the main thing. When it comes to rice, when it comes to carbohydrates, substitute it for vegetables or substitute it for potato, okay? They're the two things. Really, really cut back on those carbs because the more carbs you have, along with fat and deep fried stuff, it's all gonna add up over time. So, so far, you've checked the menu, you know what's gonna be there. You've chosen a protein source for your main meal, okay? And you've also thought about swapping out and substituting, asking how things are cooked. Can I please swap out this and this? The next thing you wanna ask for is sauce and dressings on the side, okay? If you're getting a salad, get the dressing on the side or ask what type of dressings you can have because a lot of their dressings are just full of crap. Balsamic vinegar is still gonna have a lot of vegetable oil in it. They shouldn't be fatty. So also ask them, hey, what's on the dressing? Can I get a light at meal? Can I get my dressing on the side? Okay, when it comes to ordering sauce, Diane sauce, mushroom sauce, pepper sauce, all those sauces, get them on the side so you can determine how much you want on there. Don't pour that whole thing over there. When it comes to having a potato, do you want? they ask you, do you want butter? Do you want sour cream? Can I please get that on the side? I don't need butter. You can have a little bit of sour cream on the side because then you get to determine how much goes on your food, right? I mean, you can't go and blame other people for putting things on your dish if you're like, if you're asking for it because you have control. If you're paying 30 or $40 for a meal, well then they need to be able to service you, right? So you can't say, oh, well, I had to have the potato that had butter because that's the way it came out you can ask, okay? So always ask when it comes to dressings, toppings, sauces, all those things, can I please have that on the side? Let's say we're going to a pub, okay? You've got the choice of a steak, a chicken breast, uh, something similar of that, right? And let's say come with the fries. You ask them, can I please swap the fries for a sweet potato? Or can I swap the fries for vegetables? Yeah, we can swap the veggies, okay, sweet. Does it come with sauce and butter? Well, we put some, we cook the, uh, we cook the veggies in butter. Can I please get steamed vegetables? Oh, well, we don't do that. Oh, I'm actually allergic to butter, so can I please get the vegetables steamed? Oh yeah, we can do that. All of a sudden, they're gonna change because the allergy thing is a big important thing. Now, you don't have to play it all the time, but I've gotten a lot of food that's better for you, that's better and healthy just by playing the allergy card, okay? So if you're in a pub, okay, I'm gonna get a salad. What type of salad dressing? Oh, they have this and this. Can I please get the salad dressing on the side? What type of sauce do you want on your steak? Can I just get the sauce on the side? I want a Diane or a mushroom or whatever you want. Like, don't limit yourself to the type of sauce you want. Just limit yourself on how much sauce you're putting on there, right? So that's a really good example. And then let's say you're going to sushi. All right, so you're gonna get sashimi, so it's just the raw fish, or you can have some steamed fish, or you can get, uh, like, you know, you've got choices there. All right, that's gonna be your protein sauce. If you're going to Thai food, Let's think about this. So what can we have for Thai food? We got a beef stir fry, we got uh, chicken stir fry, goat, uh, they might do uh, veggie stir fry, all those type of things, go for that. Go for the stir fry option, go for low calories. When you go to Vietnamese, instead of getting a faux soup, get, if you're going to, okay, you can get rice paper rolls, get it with a meat sauce in there, or get it to make sure when you get a faux soup, don't get the noodles. Noodles are very, very calorie dense, okay? So when that comes to Thai, avoid the noodles. When it comes to um, Vietnamese, avoid the noodles too. That's really, really important. Then when we're gonna look at, um, let's say we're gonna look at Indian food, and you're gonna make a choice of Indian. So choose your main protein source, which is gonna be legumes. They might have a goat curry. They might have things like that, right? That's your, that's your protein source. Now you're gonna ask for extra vegetables. And then you're gonna try and avoid the potato as much as you can, or you're gonna share it around with everybody else, but really try and avoid those carbohydrates at the end of the day. Now let's say you guys just wanna go out and you wanna enjoy it, whatever you're gonna have. Well, what can you do? Like, you know, you're like, you know what, Tyson, I want some carbohydrates, I want something like that. Well, then this is what you wanna do. And this is what's gonna come into play too if you're ordering something bad like a pizza, or KFC, or McDonald's, because everyone has these things. 
Reduce your food during the day. The safest thing you can do is to reduce your carbohydrates and to reduce your fats during the day, all right? Because when you reduce those, it's gonna be less detrimental. So even if you think about, okay, on Saturday night, I'm going out to eat. I'm going out to have uh, curry somewhere and I know it's gonna be a fair bit of calories. So reduce your carbohydrates and your fats either the day before and the day of it or slowly over the week. Because if you can reduce just a little bit, like a 200 calories every single day and from Monday to Friday, that's a thousand calories you've just reduced. That's gonna help you not put on fat when it comes to Saturday night. Little things like that. Or, and same thing, on the same day, have a lot of vegetables, have lean sources of protein, so your chicken breast, your protein shakes, your meat, your veggies, all those type of things, and avoid the carbohydrates, okay? Always, always, always avoid your carbohydrates and fats because if you know you're gonna go somewhere where you're gonna be having potato, or there's gonna be rice like sushi, or you're gonna go to Indian, it's really important. Because some of you guys, you know, you're gonna choose naan bread, you're gonna choose all those things. And I'm giving you options here, but honestly, you've gotta go and enjoy yourself too. So just make the conscious decisions. If you can reduce your carbohydrates and fats a little bit every single day, which I like to do by 200, or if you just reduce a big chunk during the day, during the day of, it's gonna be so much easier for you to stay on track. So guys, that's the guide. Now, let me give you uh, the best choices, I would say. First thing is gonna be a pub, because you can choose like a big steak or a big chicken breast. Second thing I like is Vietnamese, because you can get it stir fried and it can be very, very light. After Vietnamese, I would then suggest going to Turkish or Lebanese food, okay? Because it's a lot of meat. And I know they coated a lot of stuff in oil, but you can ask for the oil on the side, especially your salad. After Turkish and Lebanese, then I would suggest going for the Thai food option because you can also do the same thing with Thai food, ask for a stir fry. And then after Thai food, you look at Indian because Indian uses a lot of curries, a lot of oils, a lot of ghee, um, and if they're vegetarian dishes, they're gonna be more starchy and more carbohydrate. That's why I'm not a big recommendation person when it comes to Indian. Even though it tastes amazing, you can get good Indian choices, you've just gotta be aware because they use a lot of spices, curries, uh, you know, all that type of stuff too. And then if you wanna go and get takeaway, obviously you would choose a leaner source of protein first. So like pizza is gonna be the worst compared to a burger because your burger's gonna have protein on it. When you get a pizza, it's got cheese, it's got dough, it's got all those things, all right? Um, if you guys have any other questions about this, make sure to ask me. But I think that's gonna be the best guide for you, okay? So always look for the, so first of all, ring up about the, uh, look at the menu first, prepare ahead of time, choose what you wanna choose. Second thing you wanna do is make sure that your meal is gonna be a big protein source, okay? So think about stir fries, think about um, if you're going to a pub, it's gonna be a steak or a chicken. The third thing you wanna do is when you get there, be the person who asks the questions, can I swap this, how's it cooked, can I get the dressing and salads on the side, okay? All those things are gonna be really, really important. Now, fourth thing I wanna talk about is dessert. Do you have to have dessert? Wait 10 minutes before you decide to have dessert or share a dessert with someone, okay? Because the best thing you can do, what I found, that sounds a little bit crazy, but like, let's say if I wanna go out with friends and we're gonna go get some ice cream after. Before you have that dessert, go and get tester spoons, you know, the testing ones. Can I please test this one and this one? And then give yourself five minutes before you actually make a choice. What I found is I just need that little bit of a taste and I'm okay, okay? We don't need to eat the, the whole thing because if you have that taste, then you're satisfied. So think about that too. So if you're gonna go for dessert, just wait 10 minutes, have a taster first or share it with a friend. This way you're gonna reduce your calories. So guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions about this or about you know eating out somewhere else, make sure to ask me because I wanna help you as much as possible, but that's gonna be the best thing for you. So still go out and enjoy yourself, just make smarter choices, ask a lot of questions and prepare ahead of time. Speak to you guys next time.